Hi guys, welcome back to Paper Confessions with Karamia back with a fun Daiso haul for you guys. Happy summer. I hope you guys are enjoying the summer season. It is getting warmer over here. So the kids and I went to Daiso recently and I purchased some gift wrapping items and some organizational bins. So this is the first one. I love the floral theme and pattern, love the lavender color. It is large enough that I can use part of it for a junk journal cover and another one for outgoing happy mail. Now, speaking of junk journals, I am currently working on a few that have a garden kind of botanical theme. So I got two of these drawstring types of bags that I can package them in when they're ready. And then we have this beautiful pink one, really plain, but really nice. And I love that these are all reusable, which is awesome compared to using the plastic one. So I um, prefer to use this in the future. So just got a few of those. Now, still in the process of continuously organizing, de-stashing, and purging items in my craft supplies. But now I, after doing so much, I realize the key thing is to have also the right tools and bins to hold your supplies so that it is more space efficient. So the first item that I got was this cute little tray. I love the embossing on that. Look at that scallop edge. And it fits my kind of shabby chic vintage theme uh, that I like. So I'm really excited to use this. There's a lot of space and you can organize fabric, paper, ribbons. So super excited to put that to use and then we have the taller one here now this one i'm using in our kitchen so you know we have our dish towels and i love the microfiber ones that i have from daiso so i'm going to show you which ones i got but i have this under our sink i'm going to put this under our sink i have right now i have a what do you call it a little plastic container that's really worn out. We've used it through the years. So I thought we needed an upgrade. So here are the towels and you get a set of three for a dollar seventy-five. They really absorb a lot of water. So then we just fold them and put in there. I usually roll them. And then we have the larger kitchen towels here for a set of two. And these are awesome to use. And then you see the pink and gray little stitching and color over there. I also picked up these smaller trays over here. And I wanna show you this one here. Look at that. How fun is this with the sewing pattern on the side? And you can put your yarn, you can put your spools of um, thread if you would like. So I really like this one. So I'm gonna put that right there. Also got one in pink. So this should be super fun to use. Actually got two in pink. Let me just show you. Here is the other one. Now, yeah, these were also a dollar seventy-five. And then we have these. Now I've seen something similar at the Dollar Tree, but the plastic that they use for this one is really pretty thick and sturdy. The ones that I've seen at Dollar Tree kind of flimsy, but this is pretty solid. So excited to use it. And I love that it's small, you know, it's as tall as this one. So if you were putting it in a shelf, I think that would be, you know, like sometimes space, you have only much left and you can insert that in that area. So I have this one here. What else did I get for organizing? I also love these. Now, if you guys have embellishment box projects, these are perfect. There are four different size sections here. Now, I am preparing a few little uh, treasure box goodies that I'm hoping to share with you all soon. So I'm in the process of organizing that. So got two of these. And then for the kitchen, I wanted to try this out. It is an egg drawer organizer. Sometimes we don't have a lot of space in the fridge if you have a smaller fridge. And this one kind of just clings on to one of your shelving and it's a little drawer. So I will probably put an insert clip here 
to show you if it really actually works. That holds a dozen eggs. And if you see this sign here, that means that it's not $1.75. So I think this was about $3 if I'm not mistaken. But that is that. And then I thought this was super cute. Little bamboo kind of cutting board. I'm going to be using it for a project or kind of flat lay with taking pictures of certain items. So really like this one. And then I know you see this. This is a lace looking plastic placemat. And again, I love, I love that it's easy to clean so I can put it on my desk, use it for some flat lay photographs. So excited to use this as well. So we have that. And then my daughter Lil uh, wanted some of these barrettes and I love it. It's super cute and they can use it for styling their hair. So they got that. We got some cute pair of bird socks and I thought they were just cute. I love that's the color blue for myself and I love birds. So got that cutie. And then they had these awesome looking highlighters. It has a um, the thicker nib on one side and the fine tip on the other. So the color almond, mild mint, and mystic sunset. And I think it's so cute for $1.75. Really pretty. We'll have to do a test and make sure that they do look awesome on paper. We have that. I also love their washi tape. Now these are some florals and again it goes well with the vintage floral themes that I will be working with. And then we have some cute Sanrio items. This is a frappe key holder and actually this opens up so you could put some candy, mints in there vitamins and then attach it to your bag i think that is super super cute and then with the summer here i spotted these adorable fans so i got a couple of them one that's handheld this one has some led light i don't yeah so that's what it looks like and it has kind of noisy but i do like it if we are out you know, watching a game or an outside concert this summer uh, or on a hike, that's also good to have on hand if it's really warm. But let's open it up and see what this camera fan looks like. And these are, I'm hoping that it really works. These are battery operated. It has a little lanyard that you can put around your neck and you can attach. Again, this is just a novelty item and you have a little clip here and this is where the battery goes. So it is triple A, super cute. And then you turn it on, there's the power button. I think it is just adorable and perfect for the summer. You can, you know, while you're walking around Disneyland, and all the you know amusement parks now the other item i got and i thought it was just cute now if you don't like the noise of the fans and you still need to cool yourself off well we have these adorable plastic fans and these work pretty well i love it love all the fruits on there definitely very very summer themed now, speaking of summer travel, I also got my daughters and I these little passbook cases. And these come really hand handy when you're traveling. It minimizes the number of pieces that you carry in your bag. I don't like to carry a lot in my bag. So this can hold, like this is Emmy's little vaccination card. And then you have these little pieces where you can put your ID, you can slide your passport in, um, and other cards that you have, credit card or whatnot, and you can zip it up. There's like a little zipper there, and it doesn't get dirty. You can just wipe it off clean, and then just put that in your purse. You can also use it for other crafty items like stickers on the go, 
um, some of our supplies that are flat so you can add that also spotted these uh, I think they are watercolor I'm not sure watercolor pens or I think they're calligraphy pens actually in pink and then we have I think this light red so I think that's really cool I'm gonna have my daughter Lil try this out because I love the way she writes in calligraphy so we'll see how well that works as well and then let's see I have just a few more items this is one that I purchased this is a rebuy I had used it um, probably two Christmases ago I had a shaker challenge shake a frame challenge and i'll link it up here if you'd like to see it was super fun but i would like to use this this time for some vintage assemblage uh, project and this would be great for display i may be applying some varnish here to make the wood darker uh, probably add some uh, gesso paste modeling paste on it so stay tuned hopefully i can do it on camera and if not you will see a future project share featuring this piece and then uh aside from the sticker books that i got from daiso we were at our outlet mall and i found a k-pop little store you guys probably are, might be familiar with bts and the kids you know love their music i bought this uh, to hold some of my ATC cards and some of my stickers. So I'll show you what I have so far. So this was $15, but it has so many pockets, 128 pockets. That's what it looks like. Perfect for your ATCs. And here is one. So this was part of a lunch, bento lunch box, and I use it to hold it here. So this is one of the BTS guys. I just have him as a place card holder here for now. And I think he, he, they call him V. But how cute is this? So this is what it looks like once you have it folded. I'm still in the process of organizing my fashion stickers that you've probably seen in my previous Temu haul. So this is what it looks like inside. So I have a ways to go in getting that organized. And then uh, speaking of sticker books and card books and ATC cards, you've probably seen me uh, feature this. Uh, this is one of my older pockets that I have for my collection of vintage uh, playing cards. And I have an ongoing giveaway. It's called Two of a Kind Challenge Giveaway for my summer and anniversary giveaway. So I hope you guys can join. I will link that video here at the end. Um, so I'm excited to organize my stickers in these books. Uh, Daiso offers the same, like I said, in these. And I, I did buy and I sent, I bought one, sent it off to a friend. I have my ATCs as well. And these that I've featured in the past. So I love those. And then, oh yes, there is one more item that I got. And I just love this. It just um, screams retro. And I love the blues and the yellows. Isn't that pretty? So I may likely use this for a junk journal closure. Fashion themed one. We'll have to see. But... That is it, guys. This is my haul for Daiso. Let me know which item was your favorite. And if you'd like to see what else, what other items I had found at our local Daiso in the past, make sure to check out my Daiso playlist. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.